Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Citizen Sleeper. Last time we left off, I remember it was a pretty long episode because I was just constantly going. Ever since your trip to the shipyard, Fing has been missing from his bay. What's going on? Um... Uh-oh. That's not good. You're the one that's supposed to be getting rid of my... My tracker. Uh... I don't like the sound of that. And it's red, too, which makes me think this is a bad thing. Do I have to find you somehow? I'm worried. I'm very, very, very worried. Okay. Um... So what did I want to do? Today, I should probably use one of these to grab some scrap, since those uh, seem to be pretty good. Um, let's see, we got the sealed dock. Yeah, that's just Neovend. Still needs a ship mined. Uh, oh god, you're coming back at some point. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing that we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to refresh myself on everything. Don't mind me. Fabricator place, I don't think I need to go to. Infis. Uh, I'll probably need to... I'll probably just do... Food delivery. To get my energy back up. Um, but see... I do need to f work on finding this character over here, but... I also need to recover before I can do that, I feel. What would be really nice is getting enough scrap to, um, build that house. Maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should just focus on building the new house, which would give me another level up so I could be more effective at some other things. Let's, let's look into that a little bit. So, currently I have... Yeah, so if I got another point, I could put a point into, into it to get my into it up to, uh zero, so at least I wouldn't be as awful at it. Um, I could also work on getting my interface to plus one. Yeah, or chance to gain energy after any engage action. Not super interested in that. Hmm. It could be something worth, uh, worth looking into. What's going on here? Hi? Uh... The screen won't scroll anymore. Hello? I mean, if I... Gather scrap. Resume. Uh, leave. Okay, okay, weird. The screen the screen would not scroll, I promise. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and put some points into that. I do wonder what other benefits I'll get from the new house, besides just the obvious point I get... For, um... Uh, completing the drive? I don't know. Let's go back. I am gonna- I, I think I'll try to start saving up my... Scrap components a little bit. I could just use them, keep using them to get my stuff all the way up, but... I don't know, maybe that is the best call though, because I'll just have more dice. Rather than working on this derelict unit. I do know though that I need to noodle manufacture. Because, uh, yeah, I need, uh, I need energy and I need some money. So let's noodle manufacture. Let's noodle around. There we go. That gives us two energy. We are good for another day in the energy department. Now I have a one, which is basically useless except for this. Um, I actually had someone in the comments mention that um, they, were, they said, uh, can you use uh, other dice for these things? See, it says you gotta match the input here. So, I, I believe how it was explained was you needed to have, like, the higher interface you had, so if you had, like, if I had one interface, I could put a three or a one here, basically, to make it easier to hack. But, yeah, I can't Put anything there. It says you specifically have to match it. At least that's how I understood it. So we gotta find things that specifically match what we got here. Okay, so we got a Yadigan agent I could grab some stuff off of with this one. Um, I've been selling most of the Yadigan stuff. I'm not gonna bother with the keynotes. They just seem like they give me like these stupid encrypted keys. 
Gadigan agent. You also require a one. Okay, so I could... Ooh. I am going to have another run-in with Hunter if I do that, though. That's, uh, that's a little yikes. Not gonna lie. Don't like the idea of running into Hunter again. What are my chances for this? It's safe. 50% chance negative for sunbathing. I don't like those chances. But I also don't want to run into the hunter again? Hmm. I could also use some more money though, not, not you. I could use some more money, but this is going to attract the hunter again. And last time I barely got away. So it seems like all the Yadigans always require just a one. Uh, I would hate to waste this dice, and I don't really have another good place to use it, so... This is going to be scary, but um, let's extract some data here. Yep, Hunter's pissed off at me. As familiar threads wrap around you, bind you, test you. Entity, submit. Hunter's strange head bobs in your vision. Your ally in the sealed dock cannot save you. In that globed head, you see whirling strings of data, so many spinning there that they threaten to tear through the thin skin and whip out into the void around. What happened to this creature? Well, we learned from uh, Neovend that you're, like, messed up. Yeah, you're unraveling. You're kind of breaking apart. The threads squeeze, and you lose any empathy you might have had. You must escape. Strike. You lash out once more, pushing Hunter back, severing threads that regrow as fast as they are broken. As you slip away, you realize you have to find a way to deal with Hunter once and for all. This is getting too dangerous. Oh god, that hurt me a lot! Holy shit. Um, okay. I don't remember actually getting hurt by it last time. Well, so much for saving up my scrap, Jesus. Um... Yeah, it's gonna take two just to get back to the point where I can possibly even get three of those. Well, I'm glad I gathered scrap today. Uh, well, I mean, I can sell... Was it? It, well, it wasn't here. It was, uh, here. So, yeah, let's just input some Yadigan data here. Like I said, I would really love to get that stabilizer, but it seems like there's a limited amount of the data. So since I sold that one earlier, I basically screwed myself out of being able to get that thing. Uh, self-repair. Yep, we gotta... we gotta repair ourselves. We are not doing hot. And unfortunately, I do believe tomorrow... I am not going to have my third die. Um... Great! But I have 21 cryo! <laughs> yeah, we're struggling. We're struggling for sure. Don't get me wrong, we're struggling. Uh, declining, yep. Ooh, a six and a, uh, yeah, a five, though. Okay, so problem being is I'm starving once again. I could buy some food. I would rather just do this, though. Um, it really sucks to waste the six here, but... I also have to stay alive. I'm kind of just wasting a lot of my time recovering here, but I'm trying to build up enough money so that I can actually fully recover. And then once I fully recover, we'll be so much better. So give me more scrap since I can get it guaranteed. God. Yeah. I don't know. It feels... It feels like I've worked myself into a pretty, uh... Rough corner here. Um, you know. Uh, so I do have two scrap. I need one to get myself back to pretty good. What I could do... Are they here? They are here. I could offload some scrap. Or, oh wait, no, no, no. Not, not, not you guys. Um, these dorks. The Ort Exchange. I don't remember how much I get for this scrap, though. How much, how much was it? It might be better just to repair myself. Like, what if I get shit rolls tomorrow, and yeah... 
I think the I think it was maybe like I got like 12 or 13 cryo for doing that. I think I would rather just repair myself because who knows what's going to happen with like Ethan and shit. Like what if Ethan really messes me up? I mean as much shit as I was talking about this ability at one point, it is coming in quite handy now. All right, we're still fading, but we're pretty good for the most part. All right, end cycle. And I'll have uh, all three of my dice back next round. Yeah, once I get back to full, I don't think I'll ever have to buy... Yeah, see, I'm glad I did this. Now I have shit dice. Absolute doo-doo poo-poo dice. Um... Well, first things first. Let's go over here and do this, and... <sighs> it is safe, so I'm not really going to lose much if I do get a negative here. What I could really use is a positive? Neutral's fine. Neutral's fine. I'll take neutral. I'll take neutral. And, uh, with my one and two, I think we're just gonna have to go in here and hit this up. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing anything else with this. But, um, we can get more of the Havenage agent stuff. Which is good. Because, um... Let's see. Leave. So, okay, yeah, we gotta, we gotta build it up a lot before he'll start coming after me again. So we have two of the Havenage data. I can get the last Yadigan. And, uh, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Ooh, and I got the, uh, yeah, transfer intercept. Yes, I got five cryo out of that. Good stuff. That that perk I, I put into is at least working out a little bit now. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we have another Yadigan agent over here. I believe that's the last one I can actually get access to. We have another keynote as well. That probably would have given me another encrypted key. Hopefully I find something to actually use those for at some point. I am going to have to start watching how much I do here, though, because until I finish the quest line with Neovind, the hunter's going to be active, and I... Doing that is constantly putting myself in danger. I still don't know what's going on over here. Ever since your trip to the shipyard, Fang has been missing from his bay. What's going on? Uh, Fang said he's, uh, if you can get to the bottom of the help Fang chase his leads. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing to really do there. Weird. The only other thing I could think of is... Like, maybe if I had more stuff going on here. Like, if I was a welder's mate or something. I could do something. But, uh... Right now, I do not know. Well, let's go to the offices and sell my... My crime data. My gang data. Here we go. Sorry, gangs. I need money to live. You understand. Alright, we've actually kind of recovered our cryo a little bit. Now just to not lose it. To Ethan. Tomorrow. Here's hoping. I always kind of like when things get this dire in these kinds of games. It's really fun, you know? Like, more, more fun than if everything was going perfectly hunky-dory and everything. There's more risk this way. Obviously, some of that risk comes with the potentially uh, the, with the potential of just like losing completely, but uh, I don't know. It's fun. I enjoy it. All right. So, what do we got? I'm start. Ooh, two fives. Two fives. Love to see it. So I'll be able to get some more scrap today. Uh, do you have to? Do you have to? Nice band-aid. Also, you got a jacket now. Weird. You miss me? Ethan smiles a ragged smile at you. Walk away. You're not just gonna let me walk away. And also, you may have a gun. Why would I turn my back to you? No. You look at him. He's paler than usual, hunched. He's sporting a black eye and more than a few cycles of beard growth. That's no way to greet an old friend. Friend? Well, he pauses. Colleague? He smiles weakly. This is big. Really big stuff about you. He seems more jittery than usual on edge. Uh-oh. Remember how now how SNR canceled the contract on you? The contract I was going to collect? 
I remember. Well, I'm guessing you were pretty happy about that shit. Overjoyed? Me? I lost everything. Let's not worry about that, he smiled sarcastically. And so, what did you think? That was it? I was just glad to be done with you. Oh, the feeling was mutual, except... He then loses a dramatic pause. What if old Essenarf gave the bounty to someone else? Someone who was, who was even more of a shithead than yours truly. Smiles darkly. What a disaster that would be. Who? Then grins. That's the question, isn't it? Ethan fishes around in his pocket for a slip of paper. I've been speaking to some friends, you see, some colleagues, about what went down, and it turns out SNRF canceled all their bounty contracts. A whole lot. Seems they brought someone in house. Some guy who did such a good job on their last contract that they got offered a job. He leans in. Apparently, he made a hit on this ship called the Winter Wonderland or something. Oh, God. That's the ship. Okay, so this is the character Dragos was talking about. That Dragos was worried about because the Winter Wonderland was... That that was the ship, right? The ship that I came in on that Dragos mentioned and was like, I don't want to mess with anybody that is strong enough to take down an entire ship like that. Which is fair. <laughs> it was smuggling sleepers out from under s and Arm's big corporate nose. Killed the crew and blew up the ship, Ethan whistles. They called him Hemwick or Maywick or something. Gives up looking for the paper. I forget. You mean Winter Light? Or... Why are you telling me this? I don't want to give you any information. Cause I'm your friend, Ethan says, looking you in the eye. Friends help each other out. Then runs his hands through his greasy hair. Given this new information, I've brought the light. It seems like you were in need of protection. Wait for the pitch. I, meanwhile, am in need of assistance and kind. Turns out I upset some people at the compressor the last time we were there. The owners, and they say they'll space me unless I work off the debt. Seems that they seems they are that kind of businessmen, he grimaces. I would pay them, but he shrugs and turns his uh, jacket pockets inside out in a mime of poverty. He looks pitiful, even more so for his clownish acting. Then work it off. You should be glad, the anger rising in him now, that I came here and told you this. You think anyone is looking out for you? You are a contract, a name on a list, he kicks the wall. Then rubs his temples. I'm sorry. Sorry for being a shit and trying to kill you and whacking that thick skull of yours, he sighs. You think I want to go up against this guy? But us? Jabs a finger between the two of you. We don't have a choice. So you keep me from getting killed and I'll do the same for you. We can help each other. Straight 50-50 deal. He looks at you, not asking for a favor. Uh, I don't know how much I trust you, Ethan, I'm going to be honest. I mean, having some protection would probably be useful, but, um... Yeah... I wonder what will happen if I say I'll think about it. And help each other, a straight 50 50 deal, because I... I, you're clearly unhinged at the moment. I, you would throw me under the bus at a moment's notice. I'll think about it. Ethan nods. I'm at the compressor. Every cycle working. Just, just think about Maywick. Think about that cold-eyed SNR shit on his way here from the core systems. He smiles. Should I give you the motivation you need? Ethan swaggers off down the corridor, throwing his jacket over his shoulder. Can't wait to be working with you, he shouts. Okay. New drive. Um. Gain Ethan's protection. Somehow you are once again helping Ethan. This time he's offered his protection if you help him clear his deck. Work in the compressor. Okay, do I even have the good stats for that? That's probably engage, right? Um. We go. Would I scroll past it? I did. Uh, compressor. So. Okay, work the back. Okay, so it's endure. That's not that bad. Um, wash up, stock check, cleaning prep work, bats, back work at the compressor is all bats. Mel's flickering lights and hard scrubbing. Okay. Uh, not anything too crazy there. Let's, uh, go ahead and go back over. Um, hmm. So, wastes. I do need more scrap to heal myself up more. Yeah, I mean, I need to gather this stuff when I can. That gives me two components. That'll get me up enough for this. Mm. 
I need one of these to heal my energy or else I'm going to be in a pretty bad spot. Or, or heal my condition, not my... Yeah, yeah, I need to heal my energy so I don't <laughs> take more condition damage is what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, we only have three of those. I would love to finish that off. I just need a few more twos. This might be a good call. I could get a little bit more money. Yeah, sorry, Ethan. Your, your shit's gonna have to wait a little bit longer, I think. While I recover here. Noodle manufacturer. Okay, there we go. Extra energy. And some cryo. Good stuff. Okay. Our money situation is getting slightly better. Um, slightly better. So, yeah, we got stuff going on over here. Um, you dorks are here. No, 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 you're coming soon. Uh, okay, so there's nothing really to do there. Let's go in here. I do need to get all of the Havenage pieces. Yeah. So, I have another two. We can put in here and bypass. <clears throat> I probably am going to have to start trying to focus on fixing things for Ethan, though. So, there's the other Havenage agent, and this is the last one. No, that's a Yadigan. Keynote, Yadigan. Okay, well, no, these things are kind of popping up all over the place now. Okay, so they do respawn. I thought there was going to be a fixed amount of them, but there's not. Oh, well. I, I, I probably could have been just harvesting the, the Yadigan stuff and just getting enough of it to get a stabilizer and I'd be in a better spot, but I was under the impression that there was a limited amount of them. Was the incorrect assumption, it seems, but interfacing isn't really my forte anyway. And this way, I'll at least be able to get the ship mined for Neovend, which will get um, the hunter off my ass. Okay, um, I think that's most of what I want to do today. Let's go to our little little hovel here. So, I think... Let's see, start action. That'll put me at how much? No, nah, not enough. Let, let's do one more so I can get four... Four dice. Maywick. Ethan says Maywick is on their way. You'll need to leave the station, get protection, or disable your tracker before they arrive. Disabling the tracker might be in the cards. Might be in the cards. Okay. Okay. That's, that's not the worst. So leave the station, get protection, or disable my tracker. So I think I can disable my tracker and leave the station uh, soon. I think we might be able to pull this off, actually. Things are... C I'm managing to recover now. Give me my four dice. Hell yeah, they're all shit rolls, but... Ooh, two twos, though. That could be very handy. Uh, two twos? Uh... Fuck. Fuck. Um... Well, uh, let's see what's going on over here. It's been more than a few cycles since Fing confronted Harden, and the silence since you has been noticeable. In your time with Fing, you haven't exactly found him to be reliable, but you did expect to hear the end of whatever plan he had put into action. But if he won't come to you, you think as you approach the Havenage building, then it's time to come to him. After all, he did promise to fix your tracker, and you're getting nervous. As you approach the bay doors, you see them wide open and light pouring out of the once dark room. Stacks of servers and terminals sit outside the bay, suddenly robbed of their mystery by the bright flood lamps. A figure in Havenage security fatigue steps out of the bay as you get closer, carrying a stack of hardware. Oh god, Fing's been like arrested or killed because, oh, I hate it. <sighs> Approach. As you get closer, you see the security officer taping up machines from Fing's stash with what looks like hazard tape. This isn't good. You again. Arden is there, leaning beside the bay entrance so calmly that you barely notice him. He has a slate in his hand, an inventory of seizures scrawled across it. Predictable. Further evidence of Fing's collusions. You see another security officer come out of the bay and take notice of you. Run? Harden. I mean, running's probably not going to work. They have, like, guns, don't they? I mean, we did... Maybe I should run. 
I mean, I knew he was over here. <sighs> Where is he? Feigning ignorance, or perhaps just abandoned? Pardon shakes his head. I believe you should choose your conspirators more wisely. I almost feel sorry for you. Harden pushes away from the wall and comes closer. Don't worry, sleeper. We have all the evidence we need. A confession won't be necessary. He gestures around the stacks of hardware. Spying on fellow Havenage members, hoarding Solheim materials, an obsession with corporate data. It speaks for itself, was it? does it not? That was his job. And what would you know about jobs, sleeper? He looks up the glass roof above and the stars beyond. We are the ones that provide the oxygen you are breathing, the light you are seeing, the systems you use every day to live out your cycles. Oh god, here we go. This place was, fought ha was hard fought for, Sleeper. It took work, diplomacy, and strength to stop the eye descending into chaos after Solheim collapsed. Not blind conviction or self-interest. You're the self-interested one. Uh, Fang isn't selfish. I know all about the background of our mutual friend, Sleeper. Don't you worry about that. His parents would be sickened by the damage he was trying to do to the institution they helped found. Yeah, the same institution that abused the hell out of them? I'm sure. You see, Sleeper, we are proud of our history here. Andre Erlin and the First Union founded this place. And Havenage has welded his values into the very walls of this place. We will never turn away from the hard- turn away the hard-working, the just, the true citizens of the Eye. Yeah, the hard-working. <clears throat> Havenage aren't a gang like Yadigan. We aren't pirates like half the spacers you'll meet up in the hub, or esoterics like those Haifa radicals in the Greenway. We are the backbone of this place, proud and true. We named Erlen's Eye, Sleeper. This is our station, he meets your eye, so please, take your false accusations elsewhere before I decide I need that confession after all. I really want to talk shit to you, but I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of afraid of the repercussions, so... Stay silent. If you have any pride, you'll give up Fing the moment he contacts you. You know where to find me. With that, Harden turns his back and walks back towards the security officers, ordering them to continue to clear out. Okay, so they don't actually have Fing. Um, Fing got away. Um, but they they raided Fing's place. As they do, something catches your eye. Among one of the server stacks, a crumpled, hand-printed box of synthetic chewing gum. Penguin character grinning from the brightly colored card and scrawled onto it a speech bubble reading, Take me to Tambor. Take it? Carefully pocket the box, making sure no one is watching, and then turn away, just as another stack of service is wheeled out of the bay. What have you done, Fang? And where the hell is Tambor? I know Tambor, it's the it's the tea house. That I unlocked in low end. It's uh this place. Yeah! Hell yeah. Okay, well I've been selling all the Yadigan data to um <laughs> the Havenage people. I hope they don't know about that. You guys gotta understand, I had to eat. <laughs> I don't really like those guys either. But I had to eat. Uh okay. So, what are we doing? Uh, I could go over here, spend my... F five to... Potentially get some scrap. Right, but I also need energy. Gather scrap. This is the dangerous one, I would rather use... The other one's just risky, so I'm fine with using my three on that one. And by that I mean the noodle making. Neutral, plus one scrap components, minus energy. I didn't have any damn energy anyway, who cares. Um, so let's go back. Cross to the rim. Alright. So, important thing to note here is if there's two Havenage agents that show up, I will be able to get what I need. So I have one right here. And I'll be able to sell this stuff to, uh, Caster. Um... I need one more and they're not- Oh wait, no, there it is! There it is! Hell yeah! Yes, 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 yes. Bypass, extract. Thank you, thank you. Boom. Got it. Okay, I got everything I need here. Um, I can still collect Yadigan stuff, of course, just for money, if I ever need to. Okay, so... What do I want to do with you? Probably eat? Potentially. Okay, this is safe. This isn't even risky. Okay, sure. Positive, please? Could really, really use a bone here. Okay, fine. Neutral. Whatever. I got five cryo out of it. 
Uh, alright, and caster's table. So... Yes, a ship mind. Give. You were the best source of this for me. Thank you. Neovend, I'm finally coming back, friend. I know it's been a long time, but <laughs> I'm finally back. Boom. Neovend wants to be smuggled out of the dock, and to do that, you'll need to provide a full ship mind. Boom. I know it took me a bit, friendo. Ship mine delivered. Neovend is uh, ready to attempt imprinting. They want you to help. All right, Neovend. Sleeper, must express plan before we begin. Neovend is impatient. The prospect of being free of the vending machine clearly too much to take. Ship mind has no output features. Will be mute until slotted. You won't be able to speak. Or let's, what's the plan? The servo motors in the machine begin to rev. Neovend's anxiety clear. First imprint ship mine, then slot imprinted ship mine into physical ports close to hunter nests. Once slotted, we'll track hunter at each. Tracking will find core nest. Slot ship mine at core nest. Show hunter data to hunter. Hunter will conclude sentience. Hunter will invoke killer. And killer will kill. Yes. The lights on the vending machine cycle as Neovin prepares. Physical ports likely sealed in old station. We'll, we'll need keys, but yes, simple. The vending machine rocks a little. Any questions before imprinting? Why slot you physically? Probably because it's easier that way. Because we can just go straight to the source and just put you in there rather than having to worry about like hacking and stuff. Uh, a lot of like, you know, ways to ways to get into those systems. A lot of the times the easiest way is just the simplest one, which is like steal a flash drive or something like that. So. I cannot access via network. Too dangerous. Hunter would find immediately. The lights flicker. Am not like you. Hybrid. Am native to cloud. Easy prey. What's the core nest? Hunter keeps central data storage. Protocol must keep data outside self. Linked to secondary nest. Can triangulate from there. That's it. Let's start. The sound of all the servo motors starting up at once is painful. The screeches rattle from the hard surfaces of the sealed dock and come back at all angles. Neovin better be quick. Or Haven and Security will be here. Neovin's voice appears among the squeals like a whisper carried by the wind. Machine is not designed for this task. Few sensors, limited inputs. I work blind. Wish me luck. In the top part of the compartment, a set of arms aligned with the ship mine, clunkily scraping against it. Can I help? Silence best. Also, if machine ignite, put out fire. <laughs> okay, will do. Metal creaks as the servos open the ship mine, its layers of silicon nested like an onion skin. Once open, the main arm of the machine rapidly shifts back and forth, realigning the microscopic components, accessing and rewriting them, imprinting Neovend into its physical form. As you watch the hypnotic motion, your mind drifts to your own creation. What processes were used to emulate your mind, to copy the neural structure of that person who, as far as you know, still sleeps in some distant facility? What was lost? In what ways are you a copy of that person, and in what ways are you something new? That is the question, isn't it? It's, um, the, sh the Greek ship... I always forget the name. The, the ship... Uh, I, was, I just always forget the owner of the ship's name, but it's something... Someone's ship's, like, thing, uh, analogy, whatever, where basically, like, if you, if you keep using parts from other ships to fix your current ship, at one point is it... At what point is it not your old ship anymore, but a new ship? It's that kind of thing. How much different are you from your original self? You know this much. You're a convenient loophole. Uh, a way of circumventing the Ill illegality of sentient AI. After all, you're an emulation, not a true digital being. You are neurologically limited, still human, but what would you become if you could escape the frame? Where then would the limits lie? A convenient loophole, a way of circumventing the illegality of sentient AI. Yeah, so instead of actually making sentient AI, they just like copy a human's brain basically onto a neural network. Screeching stops, the machine powers down, dropping the bay into darkness. In the top compartment, the ship mind is whole again. You reach up and take it down, heavy and cold to the touch. Is Neovend inside this thing, or did the process fail? There's only one way to know. Time to find a nest to slot them into. Okay, drive complete. Got another upgrade point in a new drive. Um. So, 
That is good. Our new drive is deal with hunter slot imprinted ship mind at nests. Still need to disable my tracker and everything too. Okay, so another point. What do I want to do with you? Um, like I said, I could bring into it up a little bit, which would make it harder or would make it easier to find Ashton, that character that's over there. Um, otherwise, agent nodes give double data rewards. Would be cool. That'd be very cool. Also, if I bring interface up another level... Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna bring interface up another level. It would make it easier to do the things there. Or, like I said, I could bring this up to zero so I don't have as hard a time doing that stuff to find that one character. Because how it is currently, I basically have to roll like sixes, and then it becomes a five. So the question is, do I want to lean more into interfacing? Which might be a good idea, considering I'm about to do a bunch of this stuff with, uh... <coughs> you. So I have to find the physical locations for these nests, right? You're not saying I go here. Yeah, I don't think you're saying I go here. So... Where would these things be? Where's... Disable my tracker? Okay, there, there we go, deal with Hunter. Um, the event is constantly tracking... Hunter is constantly tracking me... A lot imprinted ship mind at nests. What nests? Here. Sealed Hunter's nest. Server unit. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, so... Is that another one? That's another one. So there's three. Well, let's start with the atrium. Sealed behind a maglock, the atrium flickers with warm inviting light. The nest has to be inside. Okay, cool! That's These are finally gonna come into play. The encrypted keys I got. Cool, cool. And there's one more of these I can get as well. So the atrium's been unlocked. So if we go in here, I can put you in. This is one of the three nests that once slotted with Neovin's ship mind will lead you to the hunter's central data cache. Alright, let's put it in there. Atrium is strung with cables and lights as if they were decorations. There's a wide choice of open ports. Good stuff. Good stuff. Progress. Hunter hunted. Imprinted ship mind received. Okay, we got, we got one of those. Can go over here and do another one of these. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Now we can go back here, do this again, again. Uh, yeah, and once I get rid of the hunter, I'm free to just go on the eye and grab everything. Which will be super useful, because I'll be able to get a lot of really, really nice stuff from that. Might actually be able to get like a, you know, a stabilizer and all kinds of things if I grab enough of the Yadigan things. Could be a pretty good source of money. Um, okay, okay. So I don't have the final one I need, I have to go into the thing for that. So now that I see what's happening here, what should I do? Should I lean more into interface or make Intuit easier? Um, I, I think I want to, I think I want to at least get this to zero. I think I at least want to get this to zero, right? It'll just make it so much easier. How, how far along was I on this? Sorry, just, uh, whoops, it's not the right one. Uh, I just, I, I feel the need to look into this a little bit. How far along? I, I don't want to spread my stats too thin either. Yeah, see, I've got like, oh wait, no, this is the wrong thing. Um, it's the wastes, right? Or the wild margins, sorry. Yeah, see, I've got one. Oh, but wait, if I have interface... Rather than hiking around the movies, Yes! Yes! Okay, no, 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 let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, put it in the interface. Screw into it. Yeah! Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad I checked that. That's very nice. Alright, let's lean more into, uh, interfacing. I don't think I'm gonna be going down the indoor route anymore. So I think probably what I'm going to lean into mostly now is interfacing and engineer, which kind of go pretty well together. You know, engineering and tech. 
All right. Well, that is uh, good. I would say this turned out well. So we get back home. Okay, we're in a much better spot than we left last episode off in. And uh, I am quite happy about that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and repair so I don't lose my fourth dice. All right, we're good. Um, if I stop right here, last all the save was however many seconds ago. Let, let's go ahead and end the cycle so I can start the next episode on a new cycle. But yes, this one, we, we've successfully recovered now, I think. Things are going much better. Look at that, we got a six to start things off with. And now that I have plus one interfacing, it'll be way easier to do all the hacker stuff. All right, cool. So, with that, uh, I do still also need to take Fing's gum box over here. I didn't do that, but we're running out of time this episode. So I'm just gonna have to do that next time. So we got a few things to follow up on, jeez. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Citizen Sleeper, and I'll see you next time for some more.